Okay, cool. So we're recording now, as always, we'll plan to make the whole recording public, but if anything gets said that we feel like shouldn't be public, um, let me know. We'll stop the recording and we'll start another recording. And if we don't stop, we'll just plan to make the whole thing public. Sound good? Yes. Awesome. Yay. Sounds oh perfect. my God, we have so much to connect about. Um, I'm really excited to connect um, about everything, yeah. really. This is, such, this is such an auspicious time. I'll get into it as we go further along. I'm really excited to dive back in to your mind map and the priorities and show you how I entered everything into the system and train you on the system. It's working now. The system is functional. Oh. This is like time to use the system now. Like, it's amazing. Yes, exactly. Oh, my God, it's yes. <laughs> and and this is the first time, like this morning was when I finished. I've been rushing and rushing and rushing, but for weeks, you know, so this is oh huge. God. This is huge right now. Oh, yeah. So, your, um, yeah, time. yeah. So we're going to get into all of that and I'll train you up on it so you can start using it right away and everything. Um, but of course, I want to hear, you know, what you got from the branding boot camp and what you've been thinking about and just, you know, what have I missed? I know you've been thinking of a lot of things and imagining a lot of things and processing a lot of things. So I just want to want to catch yeah. catch up on all of that so we can bring all of that context to, you know, where we're going to dive into where we left off before. Sound okay, good? Yeah, 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 totally. Totally. Yeah. So the good news is that, yeah, I went to the, the boot camp branding and I'm going to be working with Ray Perez. Yeah, that's so awesome. That's so great. I'm really glad that you found that model. We're going to talk about, you know, cross promotions and energy exchanges and all of that as well, because that's a big part of what now we can automate, right? Like we've talked about, like we talked about from the very beginning, it becomes easier when we've got this, you know, mechanism to support it all, right? So it's just so perfect that you're in that mode and you're doing it already. And now you'll have this tool that they you know, expand even more. What, what, and that's awesome that you're going to be working with him. And I can't wait to see, you know, what you guys are focusing on. Have you had like an initial meeting to talk about, like, have Actually, you things out? Tomorrow, yeah, we did. Yeah, well, this weekend we had a meeting and um, we, we have a good understanding of our, our workflow. So our next steps is we're, we're going to be doing one of the, um, the branding days and so in the in like that branding day we're going to be uh coming up with our with our expert title or well actually i'm already doing that the the whole expert title um and the sup the unique um specific offer right the you what is it is the unique selling proposition that's what it is unique selling proposition um, getting getting very clear on what is the value uh, that I bring to others. What are the top results of my service? Uh, what are the benefits? Uh, so getting really clear on the languaging of what's what's my expert title, what is my unique selling proposition, and the, we're going to be working on creating a series of videos. Um, that is going to be to explain all that, uh, to position my, my value. Right. Yeah. So we're going to be doing that. Um, and yeah, I'm super excited. Yeah. That's, that's awesome. That's really great. That's, that's really yeah. clear. And I'm glad to hear that that's what you guys are addressing because yeah. well, we'll we'll tie it back into everything, but that's great, great context to understand like what you guys are focusing on. So that's really great. Yeah. And when you talk about, you know, you'll be creating videos, have you guys talked about like how many videos, how long they'll be, like what types of videos, like what do you guys, what's the end? Yeah, result? well, we gotta get, we gotta get our blueprint down tomorrow. I have a call with um one of the team members um for, I'm doing the 360 whole program too. So I have a, an onboarding session tomorrow. So I'm going to get a lot more clarity. And then once I actually sit down with him and start to create my map, I'm going to get a lot, a lot more clarity. But for now, I, I did take some notes. So, you know, the course that I went to was more like an intro. 
So I did take some notes. Basically what we're doing is a personal intro video that's 60 seconds, one minute. <clears throat> and this one um, you know, talks about my, my authority perception of value, uh, states the expert uh, status, and it has an evergreen call to action. Uh, within it, there could be the solutions that I provide. There could be some video, some B-roll. Uh, then there is a, there could be, there's another, oh, I guess there, there's the one video, the personal intro video is one minute. And then there's another video, which is two minutes. And then this one is with the B-roll. Those two minutes is so you can uh, talk to, talk to them, identify their challenge in your marketing message. Yeah. So there's like two videos. I, I think it's like the one, I think it's like the one before, before they start working with you. And then the one for once you onboard them and like giving them more um, insight on, on your work together, something like that. I need to get more clear because I, I need to watch the replays. I went to the branding bootcamp, then I left to Mexico and now I'm back. I'm just like getting my head organized again. I totally yeah. get it. I totally get it's, it. It's a lot. It's a lot of things. I'm taking it one thing at a time. <laughs> yeah, I, I, I get it. Yeah. And I, pre I appreciate as always all that you're taking on because you are taking on a lot all the time and, um, and somehow, um, you know, powering through in a way that you're creating, you know, amazingness in the world. So I really, honor and appreciate that appreciate all your Aww. all your holding i oftentimes as i've Thank shared you. with you it's hard for me to imagine all that you're holding in the physical world you know for me i'm so withdrawn from the physical well, i remember you know what it's like to be holding so much energy and but i it's hard to imagine oh, yeah so. i remember you were doing events and all these things it's a lot of energy yeah. yeah. So I appreciate that you're holding all that energy in the world and all that you're creating so much. And, um, you know, what what you're doing with the videos, it sounds awesome. And I think that's a great model for these um, targeted videos that you're creating for specific people for specific things. Right. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. So, so we're going to create my, so we're going to start off with branding ourselves. So Ali and I are working with, with Ray. We're working with him individually and as a collective. So we're working with him on our personal brands, uh, branding ourselves as our own being, and then branding our ministry as a, as a collaborative and as a community. So so we're going doing both of those. So we're everything's gonna need its own thing. Um, I need my my own intro video, my personal, and then of course we're gonna need the ministries. So it's a lot. And then I also want to integrate the the Eco Rainbow Goddesses, which is its own um scholarship fund, right? So I need to do these videos for everything for all the organizations, and I have the the Titantra Academy. So I feel like I need to do the process for myself and learn what the what the order is for for myself, and then I'll be able to replicate that and do it for all the other ones. Yeah, that's that's great, and that's what I'm. I I think that is a great process for you to understand the process and realize repl replication that it's going to take, and that's what we're focusing on because right now everything that you just described you have to do manually basically right you have to figure you have to either write out these answers or record it or transcribe it so like somehow you yeah. have you have to figure out what is going to make it into this you know video right well, the good thing is that because I'm going to be working with with Ray and his team, we're going to be doing it with the team. So they're going to help with the scripting and they're going to help. He's going to help with the um, understanding the the language and the, the way that it's going to be expressed. And then with the scripting and then they're going to help with the shooting and 
all of it. So it's not all on me, <laughs> which I think is what's been holding me back. Cause it's like, Oh my God, it's just so many things to figure out. And, you know, I try to do my best, but then I, I also like travel and do trainings and then try to integrate like those trainings into my head. And then I have my clients. It's just, too much. it's a lot. Yeah. So I'm really happy that I, that I'm going to get this type of support where, you know, I already have helped do it. Yeah, it's really great. And it's really important. I'm glad you're getting that support there as well. And I think it's a great, as we go further along, I'm seeing it right now as kind of like a top down and a bottom up meeting. So I think it's, I think right now it's absolutely important for you to do what you're doing and have the guidance of their team to learn all of that. And what we'll see as we go through the use of the system is you're basically, like you're saying, you're going to systematize this process so that as you do it for this prospect group, because that's what one of the things we're going to talk about is the different prospect groups that you have, right? So you have these types of people that are prospects for, you know, events, and these are prospects for retreats, and these are prospects for sessions, and these are prospects for, you know, video or, right? And right, right. There's different pro client prospects and all the different uh, categories. That's exactly, right. Exactly, exactly. You've got different yeah. category, different groups of client prospects. And what we're going to start to talk about a little bit today, as I just want to kind of set the stage, is, you know, again, starting with your mind map, Let's just look at it really quickly to have some quick context. Yeah. Okay. So here's your mind map. So, um, and I did some editing, by the way. I don't know if you saw, but, you know, we focused on the tantric ministry. We had these, um, these focuses. And what I did was I brought them together under communication. So I created this new category to... We said your some of your top priorities, you had one top priority over here, which was from your personal projects, social media, live video shoots. But then the other priorities basically fell under communications to get your message refined and projected, brand building, um, and then videos. And we talked about figuring out the types of videos, essentially what you're talking about right now, and the website and getting support for that, right? So, yeah. So, you know, you start, you're getting some of these things covered right now with, you know, this new um, exchange. And we'll talk more again about that. But besides, you know, going back into, again, you've got your different types of events and different potential prospect groups for different types of events, right? Like retreat. Right. Like retreats, for example, can people can come from anywhere, right? Whereas local events are going to have a local client base, right? Prospect group. Right. And, um, and then you've got, again, all these different things. And each of these different things that we focused on in all of these different areas are all different prospect groups. Now, they can overlap, of course, right? You can have one person that wants a lot of it, and they're in a lot of different prospect groups. But... Just because one person wants something doesn't mean that they want anything else. Everything. It's true. It's true. Yeah. I mean, the clients for my events are different than my my clients for my sessions. I mean, some of them overlap. I've had some of my session clients come to the events. Of course. If I and look that's at the majority, you it's not. Yeah, and that's where you want to create the sales funnel, right? Where one yeah. prospect group feeds into another, feeds into another, right? So right. like, like we talked about in the past, you know, you have these big public events in the hope that, you know, of the people that are there, some are going to become clients, you know, for sessions, some are going to be clients for retreats or special events or whatever, right? So, right. and that's part of what we're going to, again, keep focusing on too is, you know, what is your current sales funnel? What are your current products and services because we want to make sure that you're maximizing your, the, the way we're going to talk about it, and I don't want to go too deep into it uh, yet, but we're going to maximize how you are leveraging your resources to create the reality you want, right? That's essentially, yeah. that's essentially what the Uniting for Action system does, right? Is it lets you maximize your time and your money and your resources to create results, right? So we're about to 
to dive into all of that. So in that, you know, organization balance of creating results, you're going to be somewhat limited in how much results you can create in how many different places by how much resources you have to flow to create results, right? How much money you have to pay people to create results for you, right? Yeah. That's, oh, yeah. That's, that's going to be limiting all the time, right? Mm -hmm. So one of the things that we're really going to focus on now that the system is functional is your revenue streams, right? Both from your own products and services, but also from other people that you can recommend and to start to open those channels of your referring, you know, people to retreats, you're referring people to teacher trainings. And when, you know, for a several thousand dollar, you know, referral, you can make hundreds of dollars, you know, right in one referral, right? And and that I mean you know this well, but now we're set referral program. That's one of the other notes that I have here. Yeah. Uh, with Ray Perez, one of the things that we need to do is uh, create a referral program where we would create all of the the text, how we could just copy paste something that they can copy paste that to refer us and to streamline the process for them to uh to refer. Yeah. Yeah, absolutely. And for you to be able to refer your client base to others. And that's where, again, we're going to talk in a little bit about, you know, cross promotions, because we've talked about it before, you know, for you to do cross promotional videos with influencers that have an audience that will introduce you to their audience is going to be one of the fastest ways that you can make sales, basically, right? If you're getting yeah. introduced to 20,000 or 200,000 or 2 million, you know, new people on YouTube, on someone else's channel, then that's a lot of stuff you can sell if you have stuff to sell. You know, that's what we're going to talk about, what you have to sell to be able to capture and all of that. We'll, we'll get into all of that is where we're going. But I want to just kind of bring it back, you know, to where we're at at the moment. See if you have any questions, any comments about anything that I just shared. I don't think so. Okay, great. Great. So, you know, going back to... The, the mind map, you know, we'll look, I don't know how, I don't think we'll get too deep into it today, but other than to say it's something, you know, you want to do if you haven't done it already, is we're going to go through and look at, you know, what are the priorities for you, right, that you want to get done. Let me actually pull up these notes. Hold on a second. I want to kind of walk you through like a process that I want to support you with. Okay, so let's just like go through these questions so you can kind of get a sense of, you know, what there is to focus on, like this a little bit. Right? So what prospect groups do you want to interact with? Like, who do you want your clients to be? Like, what types of people do you want to work with? You know, that's that's the, the first thing, really. Who do you want to work with? Who do you want to spend your time with? So, and then what products and services do you want to provide to those prospect groups, right? Again, talking about the sales funnel and moving people through the sales funnel. So then also, what are your personal and professional priorities in terms of, you know, just how you want to be spending your time, what kind of lifestyle you want to have, all of that. And then what content needs to be created in order to build your brand, to create your vision, and also what content needs to be created to provide products and services or to support products and services that you want to provide, like promotional videos and that sort of thing. And so then how does that content need to be processed to fulfill your priorities? And then what are your timeframes for your priorities? So do you see how I'm laying it all out in this really like step-by-step, -step, like, if you want to maximize and optimize your time on the planet, then you really want to figure out who you want to work with and what you want to do with them, right? That's the very first thing. And you have a few, at least a few different ones. Like, the, like the JV partners. Yeah. So uh, this, the, the JD partners, is that what you said? 
like the joint venture partners? Yeah, but that's one prospect prospect group for sure. It's the uh, joint venture par partner prospects. Those are more like alliances. You're ta are you talking about more like clients, prospect clients? But yeah, I was talking about mostly clients. Although you would call cross promotional partners a potential prospect group as well. But yeah, in terms of like again, clients that are clients for you know private session, and that's one prospect group. And then you've got another prospect group that are clients for retreats, right? And you want some of your clients that are prospects for sessions to be prospects for retreats, but you have to like work them through the sales funnel, right? You have to sell them one level at a time, basically. One level at a time, yeah. Right? I mean, you always can have people be able to jump to the furthest level, but you essentially want to be focusing on you know, followers are your first, are your first like biggest group because until somebody's a follower, then they're not receiving your message unless you use a mechanism like a, you know, cross promotional partner. That's how you get in front of new people, right? Mm -hmm. So like the whole world is your prospect and then you have the prospects that are receiving communications from you. And then of those, there are some that are you're engaging at a higher level, right? they've bought this from you or they've shown up at this event. So again, you're marching them through the sales funnel. I, I know we're not spending a lot of time on right. sales funnel right now, but I think you understand it at enough of a level. So we're marching where each time somebody buys in at one level, they essentially become a prospect for the next level, right? You, it's, if, no, if nobody's, if somebody hasn't received anything for, from you yet, no value exchange, it's oftentimes hard for them to have like a four thousand dollar retreat be the first way that they they connect with you and trust yeah. you, right? Yeah, exactly. There's a trust building, or they were recommended. You get it, right? So, yeah. so with all of these different, so with you focusing on what client groups you want to work with and what products and services you want to provide to them that you can offer personally. Then we want to look at like what you already are offering and what you want to offer and like prioritize like what you are in development in order to develop revenue from these different you know prospect streams. Because again, the amount of revenue that you can bring in directly relates to how much reality you can create. We want to create this positive feedback loop where everything you're doing is bringing in a lot more money that allows you to create a lot more reality that allows you to create a lot more money, right? Yeah. And we and we want to start that loop like now at whatever level we can, right? We want, we want to figure out what do you have that you can already sell over and over again to anybody or if you don't, or, you know, could you do something in a week that you could have things that you could be selling, you know, in the yeah. back? You get what I'm saying? So. Yeah. So it's like prior, setting up all these priorities on your mind map of how we're going to develop your business right now in which areas. And that's all going to be informed by the work that you're doing with them. Tell me his name again. I want to get it right. Oh, with Ray Perez. With Ray. Mm -hmm. So the stuff you're doing with Ray is going to help you in either a real overall, if you're doing overall, or if you're focusing on one right. specific client group for one specific type of offer to them, then you're going to be really, so I don't know like how you guys are going to flow with that yet. But I, we're going to do one thing at a time. It seems like we're going right. to just work our way up until. Right. We need. Yeah. In the background, what we're going to be doing and what the system is going to be supporting you with simultaneously is you just sharing whatever is in your head, the best that you can in a way that's getting recorded that can be processed by the artificial intelligence to um, do a lot of what Ray is doing for you, right? Especially, yeah. uh, especially after Ray teaches the system how to make it work, then it's just a matter of just speaking and the AI doing all of the work. And we're already at that, we're already at that level. Are talking of about like um, have Ray speak into the recording? Or not Ray. Well, no. You're going to 
you're going to work with Ray with the answers to these questions, and he's going to ask other questions. He's got like a formula to figure out what to focus on based on the, the answers that you're giving, right? So, yeah. what, so what I'm saying is like Ray is again another perfect like prospect for using the system because he can use the system to formularize all of that, and then he can have the whole world use it and just pay a user fee to use his system that he's, everyone's a client of. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like this is where we're at already right now with, with what I'm sharing with you today, with where we're at, with where artificial intelligence is. It's just a matter of putting the pieces wow. together. Yeah, exactly. Perfect. Exactly. We're within, yeah. we're within weeks of- So like the, the AI is really gonna become our best assistant. Yes. The a the the thing is is like a lot of the manual pro I mean, answering the questions is like the perfect thing. Um, but really again, what Ray is doing in a manual way for you of like processing the questions and putting it in his formula and all of that, that will be automated, you know, very quickly. And again, if Ray is the one that's teaching the system how to automate it then Ray gets the royalties when people are using the system. But, you know, people will just pay, you know, $5 a month or $10 or something like that. And they'll use Ray's system of how to just speak and then, you know, get two minute videos that are the way that you want it to be. You get what I'm saying? Okay. It's, it, I know it's a bit of a leap, and I know I'm going a little off topic, but not really, because this is what we have to focus on right now, is that yeah. the the everything that comes out of your mouth, we've talked about this many times, but this is where we're kind of like, you know what, let me show you the system so we can start like, yeah. start like putting yeah, let's it let's do that so I could see what you're talking about. Exactly, exactly. Okay, here we go. Yeah. Awesome. Yay. Okay, hey. here it is. So let me show you what you're looking at and show you, you know, where, how, <laughs> just give you the tour. So, wow, it's amazing that I'm sharing this with you. Now. This is this is so many weeks of just like ripping, oh my hair, ripping my hair out, challenging to figure out how to make all of this work. Oh my God. <laughs> oh my God, it's... <laughs> yeah. So on this level, it, you know, it looks pretty simple and I want to keep it very simple. So, you know, you can understand everything. So here is who you're posting as you're posting as angel rainbow goddess right now. And this right. takes you to your profile and this takes you to your stories and this takes you to creation and creation. Let me take a look at Creation, we're not even going to cover today because I want to get you really grounded in the stories because this is the foundation of how it all works, okay? And you're going to take a couple days to work with this and we're going to work back and forth and then we're going to layer on creation, the creation layer after that, okay? But with the stories layer, this is your navigation in your story. So you're always seeing your navigation. Navigation shows up here who is the creator of the page you're on. This shows you the, the page you're on. Um, and in this case, it is a filing cabinet, which is a category of reality generating machines. So file cabinet, each of these icons are symbols for what you're looking at. They're like, they're like shorthand, right? So you can easily know what you're looking at just by seeing all the symbols and quickly knowing what you're looking at. Okay, so these symbols show you that the hand is the symbol to give you the layers that flow out. So I'm going to show you that in a minute. So, but we'll come back to that. This little icon is to give you all your apps that are available right now. So these are all the these are all the different apps that I can use on this right now. I'll save that for later. Um, then you have this face which shows that it's you that created this collaborative project. When you see that face, that means that you are the creator of what you're looking at, okay? So you created collaborative projects and it shows you what collaborative project is, which it's a category of reality generating missions, okay? 
And so underneath this category of reality generating machines, you have one reality generating machine here. Underneath it, you can see tantric ministry. And you've got a little arrow that shows that you can drop it down. So you click on the arrow and it shows you under that, you've got communications and membership and events. And this is coming right off of the mind map. So we've got communications and membership and events off of the tantric ministry. Okay. So, yeah. so then, you know, with all of these other branches that are here from communications in particular. Yeah. What I did, I'm going to show you, I'm going to expand it all, all at once. You can see right now, each one of these is its own reality generating machine. Okay. And I'm going to expand it all, all at once. So you can see all of the different levels that are there. So boom. So here's everything, you know, that we were putting on the mind map. So under communications, you have brand building. And then part of that is to refine your creed. And then under videos, we talked about about us videos for uniting your action system and cross promotional videos with influencers. And then you had get website launched and under that work with web developer and then via events through promotions membership. So you're seeing right now how we've mapped our mind map into these different thoughts that are given these different labels. Okay, so we can see the different labels here. The, well, first of all, any question, just seeing the mind map mapped into the, the branches of the tree here. Any questions about that? Oh, yeah, no, I, I like it. So this is basically everything that we talked about that we need to go. Exactly. What I, what I did was I went point by point through each one of these and I made it into a thought that exists within the Uniting for Action system. And it's a thought within an organizational structure. So I applied the organizational structure for you. So that's how I did more organizing of what we talked about. So that's where I made it. Let's collapse it all to make it simpler again. So under Tantric Ministry, we go into communications. And under communications, we've got brand building videos and get website launch. So what I did again, Filing cabinet is categories of reality generating machines. And then reality generating machines are something that in and of itself can create a reality for you, right? So you have a reality generating machine that's going to create your tantric ministry as your reality. So that's like your big overall reality generating machine to create your tantric. That's what you click on with all that drop down. Exactly. That's the reality generating machine. The ones that have the suitcase, you see the little suitcase there? So yeah. let me show it to you on a different view so you can see um, what it looks like in a different way. Hold on a second. Oh, I can do it down here actually. I'm jumping it. Oh, that's weird. Hold on a second. I'm jumping ahead, but let me go to this really quickly. So, well, that's coming up. Yeah, so what I've done is I've broken it down into these um, these categories of thoughts and actions. And this these are the two sets of four thoughts and actions, okay? I just I'm going to explain this because this is the foundation of everything. So the thought bubble is a thought, okay? That's like the most basic thing you can have is a thought and that's, you know, one rung on the tree, okay? And then you can have a collection of thoughts, okay? And so the story, which is the next level is what gets a page on the website, okay? So we're looking at the collaborative project page right now, okay? And whatever is on the page, let me go back so you can see it. Let me, I'm going to go to the Tantric Ministry page. So I'm clicking on Tantric Ministry. It's going to bring that up as a page, okay? The Tantric Ministry itself 
is a um, is a briefcase, right? Is a reality generating machine. Okay, so as a reality generating machine, it holds um, sets of actions and actions. Okay, so these are just the four levels. I'm going to go back to it so you can see again. I just want you to see it at this level. Okay, so we're on the Tantric Ministry page and the three sub-levels, children right under Tantric Ministry are communications, membership, and events. So on the Tantric Ministry page, you have this header that contains the Tantric Ministry. And then from here is where um, Hold on a second. It's actually seems doing something different than I was expecting, actually. About a second. But I want to make sure I'm I'm explaining the four Are levels. Are these all things that, for example, that like when when we have tasks that need to be allocated to different members? Exactly. Exactly. Is something that we can look at to have that set of tasks. Exactly, exactly. So let's go ahead and let's like do that specifically so you can see how to do that. So let's go into whatever part of, you know, communications you want to set a task and let's actually do that. But let me show you as you're looking at it, you know, again, the four levels. So you've got the reality generating machine and then under that you have a set of actions. And then under that you have action. The Clipboard is the action, okay? So clipboard is the action, a folder is a set of actions, and the um, briefcase is a reality generating machine. Let me show you here. Oh, so show you. oh this is perfect. Yeah. This yeah. Is good. Yeah. So every time we have a, a something that we need to do, we need to put it here. Yeah, and this is how do I put it as? Do I put it as um as a face or no? You, let's let's actually do that. So let's choose something that you want to add a task to. So pick anything that you see here and let's add a task to it. Okay, let's see. Uh brand building. Okay. Okay, so we're going to the brand building page, okay? We're making brand building the center of attention, which makes it the center of attention of the page, okay? okay. And that and that lets you see the brand building on the page itself. Okay, so here's brand building, and under brand building, you have refined creed, okay? okay. And right now, we can add something additional, we can add something under refined creed if you want to add something to that, or we can add something under brand building. So what do you want to add? Under brand, under brand building. Okay, great. So, so there's a couple different ways you can do it. I'm going to do the most direct way, which is you go here to the thought, thought menu, okay? And here you have refined creed already defined as an action, which is why it has red. Um, and now you can add this new um, task or action above it or below it. So which do you prefer in priority order? Oh, okay, okay, let me see. Let me understand this. So it, this is gonna go above if it's under brand building? It's gonna be under brand building, but it's gonna go above or below refined creed in your priority list. Oh, and the priority list, like if it's more important than refining the creed. Yeah. Uh, or you want people to see it first. It's just a matter of how you, you have control over how all of this appears, right? So whatever, tell me what, what you want to add to brand building right now. Um, our intro video. Okay. So creating the intro yeah. video? Yeah. Okay, great. So... Yeah. Let's just, for the moment, let's just add it in front of refined creed or above it, okay? Okay. 
So here is where the suggested uh, additions are, either a thought or an action or a set of actions. But you can also click on this arrow, which gives you all of your options. So again, I want to just let you really see this because this is the this, once you get this down, then you'll understand how everything fits together. This is your organizational hierarchy so that your tasks aren't like all on the same level. You want to have this hierarchy of tasks so that like things are underneath things that are underneath things that are underneath things, right? So the ver so you have two sets of hierarchies. You have a set of thought hierarchies, which go from thoughts to collection of thoughts to stories to um, themes of stories. And that follows the same pattern of what you have for actions, where you have actions and set of actions and reality generating machines and categories of reality generating machines. You get it? So like a thought is similar to an action and a, cat a set of actions is similar to a category of thoughts and a reality generating machine is similar to a story and a category of reality generating machines is similar to a theme. You get it in this hierarchy? Okay. And you want to use the hierarchy so that you can, people can understand quickly what they're looking at, right? This is again, here's a reality generating machine. Here's, you know, the actions in it. You get what I'm saying? It, let, it lets the icons have meaning for you, right? Okay. Let me understand the, the actions again are, which icon is the action? It's the clipboard. The clipboard. Yeah. Okay. The so for board. this, for, for example, right now, you want to create the intro video. Uh-huh. That requires at least that requires a reality generating machine, basically, right? Because it's going to be made up of many different tasks to be handled by different people, potentially, and all of that, right? Oh, so it needs to be its own thing. Well, it needs to be a reality generating machine, but it reality. becomes a reality generating machine within brand building. Oh, okay. Okay. Yeah, exactly. That's where, so we're going to create a new reality generating machine inside of brand building, but you're going to know, well, that wasn't exactly what was supposed to happen. No, I'm going to have to figure out what. You mean like, so this is a reality generating machine, this, this shape right here. With the icons. The icons. That's why it's important to understand what the icons are, because that's what determines what you're looking at. So again, I'll, I'll give you a, uh, I'll send you a, a cheat sheet. But basically, the clipboard is the action. The folder is the set of actions. The briefcase is the reality generating machine. And the filing cabinet is the category of reality generating machine. So for right now, you're going to mostly deal with these because you want to create results, but also you want to soon start sharing things with people. And that's what we're going to talk about. And that's going to be sharing your thoughts and collections of thoughts and stories that you're telling to create results, right? To create actions in the world and adding new themes and stories. So this is what you do when you're creating stories. And this is what you do when you're creating um, machines and actions to, to create results. Do you mm. get what I'm saying? Okay. They're tied. They're whoops. They're tied together mm -hmm. because they work within the same system. So you can add stories within reality generating machines, and you can add reality generating machines to stories, and all of that. But I want you to get the organizational structure because that's what is going to allow you and us to keep all this organized. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. What the 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 what we're doing right now is we're taking the mind map, we're prioritizing it. You and I are going to talk a little bit more about priorities. We're prioritizing it. So the thing to see, so as you send this to people, so let's just talk about you know sharing this with people on your team and them adding thoughts, right? So they're going to click on this, they're going to add a thought. Their thought is going to get added to this tree, basically. And here's where you can see. Collaborative projects is where we started. And then underneath that is tantric ministry. And then underneath that is communications. Under communications is brand building. 
and then their brand building is refined cream. You see that? Yeah. So, so we've got this whole like tree of thoughts that we have access to at any moment right here. You see that we can jump to any thought here. We can jump to it here. Each one from collaborative projects of Tantric Ministry, there were three choices to go, communications, memberships, and events. We went what are the, the communications? Is that like email, social media? Uh, what does communications that mean? right now is brand building, videos, get website launched, and your communications via your events. Okay. Because you were talking. Okay, that's so what maybe what we need to add to this is the the CRM, which is one of the things that we'll be working with, right? Um, after we get our, our foundations of branding is uh, customer uh, relationship man management. Is that what, that's what it is, right? The CRM. Yep. And, um, and then we need to get our, our social media strategy, social media. Yeah. Okay, great. So you want to start adding those into this? Or yeah. do, you, do you want to look and see? Because you had social media strategy on the mind map somewhere else. We had it off of oh. But this is where you were saying it kind of there were crossovers between your personal and professional. But let's put... There's so crossovers. Yeah, I mean, right now I'm going to be starting working with my personal because, like Ray said, you've got to start with your personal, create a strong personal brand because that's going to be your platform to promote Tantric Ministry to promote your book, your academy, whatever it is, it's going to be through you. So that we got to get that first strong. Yeah. Yeah. Um, great. Perfect. So let's put it where you want to put it. So then if you're going to focus, let's, well, let's just make sure we're keeping the distinction between the yeah. social media for Tantric I mean, we're going to need social media for exactly okay so you want to put it under communications right yeah yeah so in this case what we can do just to show you again how easy this is and how this all works so you look here and you see again this is the flow collaborative projects to tantric ministry to communications to brand building right like that's the flow of thoughts right now in this case a category of reality generating machines a reality generating machine a reality generating machine and then a set of actions, okay? That's how this all flows right now. What you wanna do is you wanna add something new to communications besides these other ones, you wanna add a um, social media to communications, right? Right, yeah. So the way you do it is you come right here to where communications is and you hit that arrow to give you the apps and then you say, you click the update app to be able to add something to communications, okay? Oh, okay, so I hit the arrow and then I hit this little- this The wrench, little... the wrench, which is the update app, exactly. And okay. then what that allows you to do is that, I'm showing you like how easy, you have access to like instant input anywhere in your whole thought map through all of these you know, drop downs. You get what I'm saying? That you can find whatever thought you want right in this moment. You don't have to click to another page, to another page, to another page. You get what I'm saying? Like you have instant access to all of these thoughts, like immediately. You get what I'm saying? And then you can say, oh, I need to add something right here. Let me go ahead and add it right here, right now. This is the new way of thinking that's going to be happening is us seeing all of our thoughts and then just navigating through our thoughts and then adding what we need to add to the different thoughts. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. You're looking at the yeah. interface of thinking right now. The interface is going to get upgraded soon, thankfully, but you're already like, this is it. Like, this is it. We're now already navigating thoughts to add new thoughts so that then, you know, your, your VA can look at it, Rico can look at it, somebody else can look at it, and then add their own thought and then back and forth. But this is where everyone's thoughts will exist, right? Okay, so, so I guess what we're gonna need eventually is to train everybody how to use this, which that's what this video will be able to 
take like a piece of this video to to share with others and yeah i'm going to i'm going to make a more uh, specific refined training video okay. because this one is you know yeah it hasn't it's been, been as direct but I'm glad you're getting it all and I'm glad that you're absorbing it all. This is like really significant yeah. moment. And I get, thankfully, you've had a lot of background with all of this. I yeah. want to finish so the one thing. How do I add the, um, That's what I was, I as I was to say. social media? Yeah, so we're going to add social media here. So if the sh quick shortcuts are thought, set of actions or add new action. But if we want to go ahead and select any of them, we're going to make social media um a um i think well you want to call it social media or you want to start digging down let's actually make it a, let's make it a category of reality generating machines okay because i think we'll have different reality generating machines within social media and we can always change it later so i'm going to make it a category of reality generating machines and then under social media we're going to have things well you're about to tell me, but what is what's in your mind that's going to be under social media that we're about to add? Oh, okay. So let's see. Uh, with social media, are you talking about like the different types of social medias? Because there's different social. We media. can we can organize this however you want. That's the thing. Is now we're just getting thoughts out of your head into what you need to get handled in order to create the results that you want, right? So right now we're saying social media. Right now, we're just adding it as a category. If you wanted, we could add some text here. If you wanted, we could add a YouTube video here. You have all of the capability of adding, you know, all of the content that you want right here. Yeah. So I know you've seen this before. Okay, but so I would say I would say with social media is um, to create a calendar for uh, Facebook and Instagram where we are going to be posting a lot of our we have a lot of photos we have a lot of um footage um from our events uh we're going to be promoting our next event that we're going to work on uh hopefully for the fall uh we're going to be promoting our our intro video uh let's see uh yeah so is that one like i'm going to be clicking that all under social media and in and that one that's what i'm topic. doing right that's what i'm doing right now actually okay. so so we just created social media underneath all of them social media now is a category of reality generating machines so now under social media we're going to add a new um a new well we're going to say you want to create a calendar to publish to Facebook and Instagram, right? Is that what you said? Yeah. Okay, so that's going to be the reality generating machine that we're going to create under social media, okay? So we're adding a reality generating machine and the reality generating machine that we're adding is create a calendar for Facebook and Instagram, okay? Yeah, yeah. Okay, great. Again, we could add text, we could add YouTube video. Here's all the permissions I won't get into to today. We're just making everything public right now, but it gives you the ability to make different things private if you want to, and gives you the ability to not have people be able to respond. Like right now, everything you're putting is open for everybody to respond to, but you have the ability to to uh, to block people from responding if you want, if you want to keep it just... Okay just your stuff, but we'll talk more about that later. Okay. But now we've created social media. Underneath it, we've created a calendar for Facebook and Instagram. So now, you know, what's something that needs to be done in order to get that, you know, make that a reality? What needs to get done? Yeah, to create a okay. calendar. To create um, a calendar. Okay, yeah, we need to choose what photos we want in what order with what um captions and we need to go through this whole branding process of um creating our our intro video who we are 
we actually do have a good text already of who we are. And actually, we have an audio where we recorded ourselves saying who we are. Um, and we have a lot of footage of um, that we could use for B-roll. And that's one of the things that we're going to be working with Ray. But I know that we're also starting with our personal brands. Um, but nevertheless, we need to do that for here, too. Yeah. Yeah. So you need to select uh, media and yeah. add captions. Captions, yeah. So this is a set of actions that I'm creating, okay? Because underneath that, you're going to have the action of, you know, adding captions, you know, which is potentially separate from um, selecting the media, right? Yeah, so maybe when, this one is specific to photos and then we'll have another one specific to video. Yeah, exactly. And that's where, you know, it even breaks down from here, right? So. You've got selection, and now we're going to break it down even further. So we're going to say select media and add captions. And underneath this one, we're going to add, um, like you said, photos on one side, select photos, select videos, because again, it might be different people, it might be different devices, it might be different, whatever, right? That's where, again, you get to narrow down into the very specifics of what needs to get done to, to get that done, right? So I'm going to add, oops, I'm going to add the very, sorry, I'm not sure why it's doing this. Let me just see if I can do it because I thought it was good. Let's see. That's going to take a moment. Let me just talk while it's doing that. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah, too. The um. Okay, hopefully that'll work. I don't know why that glitch. Still working out the 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 uh, the bugs, but uh, but the to get back to what I was saying, the we're gonna break all of these down, you know, as far as we can in all these different areas that are your priorities, right? The one thing for you to keep thinking about, you know, in terms of this is where you know what I want to do. Let me let me kind of give us this framework for the rest of the time and let me know how much time you've got left before yeah. we, have to, we have to wrap up. But I want to make sure, you know, I as I'm going, six, so I'm what, fine. What, what's that? I have until six, so I'm fine. Oh, okay, great, great. Oh. You know, as I was, let me take a quick time. Yeah. So as I was doing all of this, you know, conversion into, you know, from the mind map, to the um, to the system and the type of the type of work that we're doing now a little bit, you know, I've been thinking about how to, you know, I'm I'm training you and I'm giving you all the tools so that you've got all the self service options, right? So that you're able to do it yourself, you're able to train other people, you're able to do whatever. You've got all the tools to be able to do it yourself. We've talked from yeah. the beginning that's an important part of the system. Yeah, and then also, you know. I know, you know, obviously as I'm supporting you and organizing all these different things and helping you figure out how to use the system to optimize the time and money and resources that you have, I right. want we wanna we wanna essentially come up with a way of figuring out like how much how much time can you put into doing the type of work that we're doing right now in terms of the task? How much do you do it on your own when you're not doing it with me or Emiliano or somebody like that that's helping you do it? How much does it help to have somebody doing it? How much, you know, 
this also gets to, you know, creating the legions of people that are doing this and helping support people do this. And I'm actually, I, I'm, I'm hopeful, I don't know, I can't promise yet, but my friend that I'm living with has mentioned, you know, an interest in supporting in this way as a way to potentially have somebody that can help at a lower financial level than, you know, what I need to charge for my time, essentially. Of course. But, but I want to, I want to, let me kind of dial, dial back to this moment in time for a second, as now that we've dive really deep into your details, which I want to. I also yeah. want I also want to now take a drink. <clears throat> just kind of remind you of what this moment represents that this system is functional now. Even yeah, though Yeah, I'm so excited. Thank you so much. You've been working so hard. It's amazing. You're doing amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I appreciate that. I appreciate it. It's great to be able to show people like you what all these ideas in my head of what we could do to have thought maps and all of that to show yeah. you know, what a functional system looks like that actually does it. You know, amazing. I'm like seeing all my thoughts. <laughs> exactly. Seeing your thoughts, yeah. navigating through your thoughts. Again, it's, it's foreign yeah. in the moment, but you can imagine it's how perfect. quickly you'll get used to it and how easy it'll be yeah. to do this with your own thoughts. I need to remember what all these little symbols mean and then how do they work? Like, yeah. Exactly. It's a language to learn, but there's not that many yeah. words in the language. There's only like 20 yeah. words right now in the whole language, you know, 20 yeah. different. Many different symbols or something. Maybe like it'll be good to have like a oh, that's the cheat sheet you're talking about. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. Okay. That explains what everything is. So um, but the 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 fact that the system is functional now allows me to go to the next level of showing the system to anybody, basically, right? Yeah. To, to anybody that can get like how much this is about to change the world, because this is about to allow us to systematize the world, right? All the things that we've talked about in the past, even, and this is the big thing, and this is why it's so revolutionary, and we know that it is, because with all the hubbubaloo about uh, AI for the last several months, and, and rightly so, I mean, it's changing our lives immediately right now already. It is. People, people are still not yet talking about the fact, it's still not like in the, consciousness of the world that the ai is having to process this mess of stuff that is ours this disorganized internet full of stuff right and trying to make sense of a mess right oh. but what uniting for action is doing is it's digitizing everything down to the minute detail so that everything that exists is no longer random. It's now computational. Everything is in the same system, characterized the same way, evaluated the same way, highs, lows, minimum. It's all analytical. It's all digital. And this oh, is wow. not, exactly, this is not even being talked about in the world because this is the shift we're about to experience as humanity. Now, when you take AI and you use AI with intelligent data that all makes sense, that all is you know compatible with each other. Now AI gives us the optimum way to do everything, right? But wow. we keep we can't even get to that optimization without systematization. Systematization is the key, and that's what Uniting for Action is bringing into the world that is about to blow the whole world up. Okay. Wow. Okay. <laughs> Yeah. So, so that so exactly. So that is the context that I want to, you know, one honor you and appreciate you that you are here. Okay. I was thinking, I was thinking of that again. You know, leading up to this meeting, yeah. that you get to get that the universe has chosen you to be the one that Aww. is receiving this in this moment. That you and I'm I are so the grateful. ones. I'm so grateful because I think I, I'm the one that needs it. I have so many thoughts and so many things. And finally, I see them organized. <laughs> oh exactly. And the universe yeah. has gifted you in such an incredible way for you to be the person that I'm working with and has gifted me of you, you know, that we have been on this journey, you know, especially yeah. in the last 
year and a half since she joined the leadership council. I mean, obviously we have our whole history, but just the way yeah. that we've been going through this with your business and the evolution of Uniting for Action and the systems and everything. And now we're at the precipice where Uniting for Action is literally about to explode into the world. Like it's, it's just, yeah. at this point, the only thing that's stopping it is me just getting my ducks in a row to be able to manage it all, right? To get all the yeah. support around me so that as soon as I am ready to open my mouth on national television, that we've got an infrastructure to handle all the attention coming in, right? That's- oh, wow. yeah. Exactly. That's that's where we're at right now. And you Yay. get to be as much as you want the featured face of the person using the Uniting for Action system to the greatest success possible. Right. You get to be the one like not just doing this video, but actually using it and creating your content for people to find you in all of these different ways. It's, it's really awesome what you're doing with Ray and it's, you're going to learn so much and you're going to do so much. And we are about to start creating so much just content of you just talking with people, of you just having conversations with other influencers and, yeah. doing, and doing things that you're creating content that we're going to use the AI to process that it's going to be all of these different pebbles that people find you. And then as they find you, here's this product and here's this service and here's this other person's product and here's this other person's service. So ex exactly. That's the world that you and I are about to oh create. Like yes. <laughs> exactly. So that is the moment for us right now. So ah. <laughs> <laughs> yes, exactly. It's awesome. It is so, it's so, so awesome. So again, as I've been anticipating this meeting and thinking through all of this, I I want to support you on the highest level that you are capable of, you know, being supported at, right? And that's yeah. why I really want to focus very quickly and immediately on these revenue streams and your products and yeah. services, because I think that you can start developing a lot of rapid cash flow for some pretty simple things yeah. that, we, that we could start doing because that yeah. cash flow is directly tied to how quickly you can expand yourself in this universe we're talking about, right? We could, Perfect. Keep, we could keep having yeah. more and more people that are supporting the words coming out of your mouth, turning into the reality that you want, as we keep making sure that everywhere we keep creating content with you, we're doing it in places where you've got products and services that can bring revenue back to you, either your own or somebody else that you're referring, right? And yeah. that's where we can start to create a lot of content with a lot of other people right away that can start to create a lot of channels, you know, for revenue flow and start building this network, you know, of revenue streams. And at the same time, really be focusing on your brand building and answering the questions and you're, you're doing it conversation after conversation, but we're at the same time creating content that we can just drop into the system that can help you expand your brand and expand in all the areas you want, right? Yeah. Because these one minute and two minute videos are gonna be really great to introduce you to people that haven't known you yet. And just as many people or more are gonna find you through just this little snippet of video about this and this little snippet of video about this, because they're gonna come into the system and they're going to say, I'm looking for you know physical healing you know, with these other criteria, and you're going to come up, your content is going to come up, people are going to hear, you know, hear you talking about it with somebody, you get what I'm saying? Like, yeah. like, we're creating a world of content around you. And you can know this is the thing is that any content that you can create right now today, we, we, we may not be able to process it with AI today, but we will very soon, which means that you're, build, you're building your whole library of content like already, like all your past content, all every content, everything that comes out of your mouth that you record is stuff that we get to add to the AI that just lets you build your whole, you know, empire of everything that you're sharing with the world. You get that? My God is, yes. So, so this, yeah. is where, this is where you're going to want to start to record just like everything. You know, so maybe what I need to do is because I have a lot of thoughts of like all the different things I want to talk about. 
Um, maybe I need to start one of these reality generating machines or you tell me how to organize it. Yeah, this is all of the thoughts of all the different topics and each like the love gospels, right? Each one of those love gospels is going to be like a revelation. Exactly, exactly. Let, we're going to we're going to dive back into it. And I want to give you again a little context for the way my brain has been processing this is that, excuse me, I want to spend a little bit of time with you after today, if if you agree, this is where, you know, I've been trying to figure out what's what's the most that I can give you, you know, in our current value exchange and, yeah, 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 yeah. and, and where and, and how, how can we go forward from here? My yeah. thought, my thought at the moment, let me give you just a quick accounting of everything so you get where yeah. we're at with everything. Yeah, with yeah, all yeah. Of, that. of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so before you left for your trip, you provided the uh, $300 for the two hours of data entry into the Uniting for Action system. Of Which is what you did with, from the mind map into the system that's in now. Exactly, exactly. So what I what I did that I'm showing you now is the completion of the contract that we had before you left. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. And the and I'm doing the training as just like extra. I'm not charging you for the training time to get you up to speed on using the system so that you can right. use You're it like, self-serve now that I've right set now. now that I've set you up, you know, with a bunch of your content in there, took you through the mind map process. You got the mind map. Yeah. I've taken a, a, a bit of the mind map, put it into the system, and now like, okay, now you can do it on your own. Here's the self-service. And the like I said, I'm also working on figuring out ways to provide different levels of support, whether it's me directly or other people to be able or to somebody else. Yeah. To yeah. Give like you I know more. with Emiliano, I still have like two sessions or something. Exactly, exactly. You still have yeah, the sessions with Emiliano as part of it. What I'm thinking about, and and this is again where I want to help you develop more resources quickly because I want you to be able to keep expanding the cycle as quickly as you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. But I want to, what I'd like to do if it works for you is I'd like to start with a an assessment and a um, strategic plan based on your priorities and everything that you're doing right now with how you would like to use the system in a combination of self-service and full service in the next like few weeks to be able to maximize what you're doing right now. And what I, I like, again, the way that I'm thinking about it and tell me, you know, what your thoughts are, but yeah. I offered, and I, I think I offered this to you, but I can't remember. I offered a few weeks back some really um, special offers for packages for Uniting for Action hours. And I wanna put together some different levels of packages for you based on where you're at and what you wanna do and how much, you know, everything where you want to find the balance between self-service and full service, where that balance is going to be for you. And I feel like, you know, there's a bit of a process for you and I to do the type of things that you're asking about and we're doing, which is to go <clears throat> deeper into like laying it all out, but also zooming out to what I was saying, which is, what prospect groups do you want to focus on? What products and services do you currently have to sell to them? What products and services do you want to develop to sell to them? And what are your priorities right now in terms of, um, you know, developing revenue streams and developing your brand and developing all of these things, right? It's like, yeah. that's you, to me, it's you and I spending a bit of time continuing to go deeper into exactly what we're doing but yeah. I just feel like we need more time to keep going deeper into it to be able to give you the best um, course based on how much time you have, how much resources you have, whatever the other resources are coming into play to be able to manage the system, to be able to get you where you wanna go as quickly as you can in the places you wanna go. You get what yeah. I'm saying? Like if you and I spend another half hour just like, taking you down some of these tracks and building this out, like it's valuable, it helps you and it gives you the ability on your own to just go and start using the system. But I right. feel like I feel like there's more, a lot more that I can support you with as we have a broader conversation about like, what are your products and services right yeah. now? 
like how can we develop something to serve these people like next week or next month you know you get what i'm saying like to really oh, yeah, yeah to really help you hone in on in particular using this system to develop cash flow because part of it again i want to find and and um this is um i want to actually this is part of what we'll do either today or going forward if you want to in this way is to actually start looking at um, people on YouTube and people on social media that are models for right. you, models for yes, you. I remember I was thinking about that last night. I was like, oh my God, I got to find this teacher that I really like. And I, I started making a list, but then I don't know where that list went. So I got to like look back. Yeah. Exactly. Because part of what we're going to do is we're going to look at that to see how you want to build your brand. But also we're going to look to find, you know, similar but separately, influencers that you want to reach out to, that you want to offer to do some kind of something with them. I think okay. it's going to be cool to find some influencers that you can do some in-person things with. And what I'm talking about is I'm talking about like some kind of video that you can create with that other person that plays to their audience and plays to your audience. And you each get to expose yourself to each other's audience. You get what I'm saying? I like that. Yeah. Especially I like that um, as I'm going to be developing my funnel because I feel like I need to have a funnel where to funnel people into. Exactly. Um, so I want to get that really unlocked. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah. And so the, 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 this exchange that we're going to set up, this is a really important strategy because this is, again, what's going to, the, the higher up you can reach, the more influence, the more followers that somebody has that agrees to do something with you, the more it can potentially, you know, really multiply your business, right? Um, you can think in, you know, the upper ranges, you know, the upper echelons of influencers have, you know, tens of millions of followers. If you just connect with somebody that has a couple hundred thousand followers, right? And they- My friend that I'm about to start doing stuff with has, uh, I think she has 50K followers. How much, how much, how many how this many is This is the thing you're going to work. Yeah, so this, this, I already have people that I could- that Exactly, I could, exactly. Yeah. So this is part of the strategy that I want to share with you, but also I want to develop with you of helping yeah helping you pick some people and make some invitations and create some videos and start creating these cross exchanges that starts allowing you to have new clients coming to you from all of these new pools of resources, these, these friends that you have and all, all these fresh faces that don't know you. Do you get what I'm saying? Right. And, and this, this is something that we don't have to wait on. We're just going to get better and better and better. Yeah, it's going to, we're going to keep doing it. You might not want to call, you know, your top prospects initially, you might want to practice on some other ones, but as soon as you feel confident, we want to start, you know, doing this very regularly and use this as a primary means of you expanding your business, expanding your revenue, expanding your followers, expanding everything, right? Because right. this, this will give you leaps way above the just trying to do things you know, gradual, gradual, gradual on your own channels, right? Right. If you're just, if you're just looking for, you know, a referral here and a referral there, and if, it's just going to take, you know, it's, we're, we're going to leapfrog all of that. We're going to send you to the top, right? We're going to find some prospects because this right. is the thing. You don't even have to know them yet. You find some prospects that you think, oh, their audience would love what I do, love what I have to offer. You just right. have to come up with a really great offer to them of why they should do something, right? Right. And, and that's and that's something we can do, right? And so, and and also you have the leverage now of the Uniting for Action system because anybody that you're connecting with, you're introducing into the system and they're going to want to start using the system and they're going to start Referring it to be, you're going to have so much commission just from the usage fees, just from the influencers that you bring on and all of the followers and all of the other influencers. You get what I'm saying? Like this yeah. is this is going to be 
mountains of money in the future just because you're so early in having and in introducing this to people. But this is a really important thing right now because this is going to create real revenue like immediately, right? Right. So yeah. it's just an example of, again, where we want to make sure that this is also on your priority list of all of these other ways, you know, you're spending your time. And this is where we figure out where it overlaps with the personal brand building that you want to do, the brand building you're doing with the tantric ministry, all these different things. It's why there's still just, besides just showing you the system, there's a lot more conversation for you and I to have for me to be able to master plan your universe with you. Do you get what right. I'm saying? You get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. I that's so so again, my proposal to you at the moment, if you're interested, is I want to offer a value exchange of you providing three hundred dollars to do this strategic plan with you to go through this process of you and I sitting for at least another hour and a half, specifically with the intention of creating a strategic plan. Okay was specifically the outcome of our strategic plan being that you're going to decide, you and I will come to agreement, how you're going to use the system exactly in terms of how much time you're going to be devoting, how much time other people on your team are going to be devoting, how much time, how much resources you're having other people do whatever. We're going to figure out what you're going to be able to reasonably get out of the system with whatever you're willing and able to put into it right now. And we're going yeah. to figure out how we should be managing your, you know, whatever the limits are of your time and money and resources to get the maximum results out of it, including, as I'm saying, to jumpstart a whole new revenue world for you, because the quicker that gets going, the quicker that you have those resources to not be as limited. Right. That's the limiting factor. Yeah. So I really want to I really want to help you, you know, start creating new revenue streams right away by us. Identify again, it's a simple formula, but I want to be clear about it because I want you to get like where my mind is at about this, which yeah. is you and I identify. This is essentially what I'm proposing with the strategic plan. You and I identify the specific target prospect groups that you want to focus on. OK, the different. Okay the different profiles of people we, in, in marketing terms, and maybe um, Ray already mentioned this or he will, a lot of times it's called like an avatar. Like you create an avatar for each like type of person that you want to speak to, even different types for the same um, products. Hold on a second. Yeah, I did start working a little, a little bit on that. I could get more specific, I think. Yeah, because you could, let because let's put it this way. Like for like your private session, just an as, as an example, you have like one avatar for men who are prospects and one avatar for women who are prospects, right? Exactly. Yeah. You're gonna you're gonna talk avatar. to them differently, right? You're gonna talk to them differently in different ways, right? And even the men, there's some men that you're gonna that are this, and there's some men that are this, some yeah. men that are that are straight, some men that are gay, you know, you're going to talk to them differently in different ways, right? So you create these different avatars to figure out all the different ways that you communicate to your different prospect groups to be able to um, have a conversation with them that leads to a sale, essentially, right? That leads to them creating an energy exchange for something that you're offering of higher value, right? And again, this is where we'll, we'll focus again on what you already have that you can offer in products and services, but also what we can develop and what we can develop quickly potentially to help with that as well. So then it's again, us being in a deeper conversation about where where you're at in terms of your time availability, your resources availability, all of that, to be able to figure out based on everything you wanna do and what your priorities are and what you have to work with, here is the strategic plan that I recommend of the best way to use the system and your finances and your personnel resources to be able to create, you know, what we're talking about. So that's, and so what, what I'm suggesting is an hour and a half of you and I having a session specifically diving into all of that. And then another hour and a half of me um, processing that all, and then having a, you know, a, 
sharing it all with you, basically, us sitting down. And what I'll be sharing with you is I'll be sharing with you different scenarios that will be based on, you know, what you say along the way, you know, seems doable or what you want to focus on. There'll be different packages of different lengths, different, you know, investments, whatever, for you to be able to decide, you know, where you want and how you want to flow and all of that. It just essentially sets us up for how to have you be maximally successful with this amazing tool that I just gave you, because, you know, although it's powerful in your hands and you'll get better and better and better, there's still a lot, you know, there, right? And still a lot yeah. to figure out, like, oh, how, yeah, do it's you, a lot. how do I, I you... definitely need support to, to navigate it and manage it and to put in all the information, yeah. Yeah. And, and again, in my mind, especially after our conversation last time, you know, going back to the mind map to help, to help this big picture narrow down to what your priorities are and how we need to focus using the system and using your time and using your money to get the re best results you can in the areas that are most important to you with what you've got available. Right. That's the real bottom line. So that's right. uh that's my proposal, you know, to you in terms of like how we figure out how we go forward, because there's still so many unknowns. I can't tell you like like I need more processing time. You know what I'm saying? In order, yeah. in order to go deeper into your stuff and give you the master plan of how to deal with it all. You know? Yeah. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And I and I enjoy yeah. this time we have together because it helps. It helps me. I feel like. um it helps me put everything down and then you know i want to reach a point where i could delegate things um and where i could share with ali i could share with rico and everybody has a portion of these things that everybody can start working on and that we can track i, I know you're setting up a system also for like tracking what gets done and like the color coding and all of that stuff. exactly and that's what i'm going to show you next time so that's also independent of you know this next step that i'm talking about i'll still train you in another session on the yeah. creation system um using the color coding and the tracking and all of that yeah, so, that's more advanced. so we can so that's separate that's coming to you already just as a user of the system but, you know, this deeper level of how I support you on a strategic level and we talk about all of this stuff, that's how I feel like I can best support you now with the system yeah. and use it. The strategy, yeah. The, the strategy, strategy and actually having a plan of how to use this that we're all on the same page with that, you know, Rico gets and and, um, and uh, Emiliano gets and the rest of your team. And, you know, we're using right. the system, like you're saying, to start having it just all happen you can't have anything happen until it the words come out of your mouth and it reaches somebody right yeah and, and as we've talked about over and over again these individual conversations where the same words are coming out of your mouth to different people it's in it it's an inefficient use of time right yeah. and your time is so valuable to you you need to start being a lot more efficient so that's where the words go into the system and now Rico can find it and now Emiliano can find it and other people can find it. And that's, that's, yeah. that's where we go with this. Awesome. Yeah. And then uh, from the 21st to the 25th, I'm going to go spend time with Rico and we're going to be filming stuff. So that's great. That, that's a good time before then to get some planning Going. Absolutely. Absolutely. And I definitely want to learn more about that and talk to you about, you know, different things that you're planning to get and everything and how you're going to get it. Because I definitely, I have a lot of thoughts on the whole brand building and everything. One of the things that we're filming with Rico specifically is for the Thai Tantra Academy. That's one of my main projects with him um, is we're recording all of our like Thai Tantra yoga flows so that we can create a, a course, uh, an academy training, um, and load it into our app. We have an app, uh, that we are developing and we need to load all the training material. So I do have a, course outline that I started working on that has like a lesson plan. <clears throat> I don't have the full lesson plan, but I have like 
initial lesson plan. And so that's what we're working on. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. That's awesome that you're doing that. And we'll put that on in the system. And that, and that overlaps with my own work because, you know, that's with my own branding because that's what I'm offering. So, and it overlaps with the ministry. All of these things really actually, they all overlap. <laughs> so. Yeah, it's, it's so great. Within the strategy, finding like how everything connects in the best way, right? Yeah, exactly. That's the thing is you have so many options, right? There's so many things that could be done tomorrow. Like what's the yeah. most important thing to be focusing your time on tomorrow? Do you get what yeah. I'm saying? Yeah. For, for your priorities, your, your, um, your puzzle with all the different puzzle pieces, it's a complicated puzzle, right? Wow. And, 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 and until you figure the whole puzzle out, you could be working on one part and other parts are getting neglected and you could be working on the unimportant part while the important part is getting neglected, right? Like it's, it gets overwhelming that you're not even sure you're, what you're doing is the most important thing. I don't even know. Yeah. Right. Yeah, you yeah, can't yeah. know because you haven't like seen where it all fits together. So again, yeah. that's, that's the part for us to get through right now. It's for us to, yeah. to figure it all out, to basically go back to your mind map and you know, start to build out what the priorities are, you know, in the priority areas. We'll talk about all of these things to put it in context. So we have it all in context, but then really focus on what are the priorities for time. And again, making sure that we're being focused on the conversation of how can we also make sure that we're ensuring revenue flowing quickly and setting up systems to have revenue flow, right? That's we're just setting up these systems that are going to be automatic right once you're in the system and you're having these communications yeah. and you're connecting with people and they're signing up then yeah i feel like the next it. revenue flow that i really need to focus on that is like a priority is i have people that uh donated to me for a fundraiser to teach them how to do this tantra massage and so now they're i'm going to be working with them um doing a training and I have already a handful of people who are already donated and I want to finish my fundraiser because, and, you know, not for it to just be a fundraiser, like it's a funnel for me to sell yeah. this class. Yeah, exactly. Um, so I want to fill up a group because I have a friend in Cancun with a house that she's like, come teach it over here. So that could be a full thing already, a full offering right now is this Tantra massage course. And I would like to do it in august so okay. so where do we uh, where do we put this because i want to make sure we're getting all of this down where it should be i would say this is i i think we already have it here um on the angel rainbow goddess maybe we have it under fundry fundraising no that's something else that secret rainbow goddesses uh tantra right here it's it's a little bit more up I scroll up tantra massage personal group you see that is right here on the um, Rainbow G Personal Projects. Oh, over on this side? Yeah, and then you see how it oh, says Tantra Massage yeah. Personal Group. So that's a priority yeah. right now? Passing on training knowledge for fundraiser supporters. Yeah, that's a priority because I have people that already donated to me and that I'm going to be both giving them a Tantra Massage and then welcoming them into a uh, Tantra training and it's a perfect the people that I'm going to be working on basically uh, are the perfect people that I'm going to be able to upsell because basically they get a for some of the people that I'm going to be working on now I mean working on like I'm going to be doing body work for them um, as part of their offering and then as part of their offering they get a one day um, in person training but I know they're going to want more so I got to build my funnel for this yeah. particular yeah. offering. Like this is going to be a kind of like a, what do you call it? A staple offering that I want to have as a consistent. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And I, I mean, I want to do it as soon as next month because I already have people waiting for me to do this. Um. Yeah. So, I have so that's. 
That's perfect. So that's again, another area where we can drill down on and um, yeah, just all of this, this is your, you're getting, you know, where I'm at in terms of what I feel like our next step is in order to help you really be able to use the system, right? And for me, I want to have, you know, this um, this session as quickly as you're able to. If you want to do this, do you want to do you want to have this create this strategic plan, go through this process of figuring this out? You mean right right now? No, no, not, not right now, like this oh, moment. Okay. But I'm oh, saying, okay, do you want to yeah. commit to the process and then set up a time for us to have? Yeah, I would it? like that. I would like that. Okay, great. Great. Yeah. Because that's what yeah, I'm saying. I'm, I'm saying. I picked up today at 6 30 to go to dinner. So, yeah, no. I mean, we just need to be done at 6 today, but we could, um, yeah, we could finalize our agreement and then we could schedule our next uh, call. And uh, yeah. Yeah, that's what that's what I'm saying is that I think right now, you know, the way that we're you and I are like getting immersed in your stuff and I'm immersing you in the tech, like we shouldn't at the moment, we shouldn't have like, you know, a week or two in between our meetings. We should really be like embedding how this works and, and what we're doing with the strategy and everything. Do you get what I'm saying? Yeah. Like I'm going to really upload all of your stuff. I'm already doing it today and I'm going to be doing it in our next session, especially. And then, you know, I'm going to download it to you. We're going to process it. We're going to create a plan. But, you know, that we're we're in it right now. You get what I'm saying? With especially with the tech and everything. So you yeah. tell me what 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 works for you in terms of your schedule, your availability. Okay, so yeah, let me look at my schedule. So let's see, today is Wednesday. Tomorrow I have a call with Ray's pause, team. Pause that video. Okay, great. So now we've got our session set for our strategic planning for next Tuesday. That's awesome. So I think, um, well, I'll process some more and think about, but I might send you some questions too. But also... I think, you know, everything that you're going to be preparing for Ray and be talking to them about is going to help, you know, as well for you to, to hone in on, like, like we're talking about. I'm interested to see what prospect groups you're going to focus on, you know, with him and then, you know, see what other ones may be separate that you don't focus on or whether you cover them all or that's some, you know. Do you, okay. do you, do you have like a list of your prospect groups right now? Have you? Done that yeah, kind of I, I have a list that I started. Uh, I started here at the course. Let me look at it. Uh, I have. Um, let, let's look. Okay, so I have my client avatar for my personal clients are usually you know professional businessmen that are overworked, overwhelmed, and uh, running on empty. <laughs> And they are usually in the range of uh, 35 to 65, mostly mid middle, you know, middle, middle age. Um, and, uh, you know, they, they're, I would say that they are in, I, I mean, really, they range. Some of them are, I mean, I've had everything. I've had landscapers, but I've also had like, businessmen right so there is a range with what they do but in general they are professional business owners things like that right entrepreneurs successful business owners professional men um yeah so what so what we're gonna do um next time is we're going to map out each of these prospect groups wherever we're going to start wherever you leave off. So I don't know what work you're yeah. going to do between, or you can do it on your own also in advance. Um, yeah. And that's, that's for my, that's more for my sessions. Um, then I have um, for the events, like I said, I do get some of those same clients in my events also. So older men um that are professional i do get some of those in my events um but i also what i what i had to do in my last event i had to recruit women 
um, and sponsor them because we needed to have more women. So I feel like, like that's more of my outreach ring, which is kind of in line with the Eco Rainbow Goddesses providing um, sponsorships for women. So actually, I'm seeing a really good synergy with my businesses because it's like I have the the wealthy men paying guests as my clients, and then the women that are on the other side of the spectrum that are you know more like fairy, airy, fairy, and don't have the funds, and then we could sponsor them. So it's kind of like a very interesting synergy. Um, it is. So, You're doing, doing a yeah. great job of, of <laughs> matching up, you know, needs, different energies in the universe, right? Yeah, been, yeah, yeah. I've been, yeah. I've been yeah. thinking about it a bit lately. I won't go too deep now because I could go off, but I want to share with you sometime soon. We'll do it in a separate, you know, session so we're not taking up time. I want to share with you soon um, a cup, uh, both a business and a nonprofit that I'm going to create um, for women, actually, to empower women. But I've been thinking of what was I've that? Been, I'm going to create a separate business and a nonprofit to empower women. Oh, okay. Oh, you're going to do that. I'm going to do that. I've actually, okay. yeah, uh, it's that's it's. Amazing. Uh-huh. It, it's it's been coming to me over the last several months. Um, I'll just share it. I'll just throw it out there so that you yeah. know you know what's in my it. you know what's in my mind. Um, uh-huh. I don't know if I should say this now. I'll just I'll. You're manifesting <laughs> it into the universe. <laughs> <laughs> I I will throw it out there I, as fearlessly as I can in this moment. I haven't shared this with any with anybody yet. Um, so, so, um, you know, that I've been a huge fan of women, you know, all my life, right. That I, that I've, you know, created the goddess dancers, create all kinds of events to empower women and, you know, really, um, just support them and and shining, you know. I I love women in every way, as you know. So I just, you know, I want to see women. <laughs> I, I I want to see women shine in every way, you know. That that gives me joy. So, um, yeah. and I've been I've been going through this very interesting um, dynamic of this relationship with myself over the last several years, as. Um, it's been over 10 years now, unbelievable. It's been 10 years since I last was in a relationship with a, with a woman, you know, with a person. Uh-huh. And um, oh. I've, been, I've been on this solo journey, you know, for so long. And, you know, I've done it because I've in many ways been living like this monastic life, you know, like I, yeah. for You've many years, focused. I've yeah, for many years, I've had no room for anything else in the world, let alone a relationship, you know, and I've just given that up to pursue all of this for so many years. I'm looking forward very soon to being back in balance as all this gets out in the world and all of that to be able to start enjoying the company of people again. Social life. Socializing, having a social life, exactly all of that. Um, And at the same time, so I've been so weird talking about this on camera i haven't shared with <laughs> anybody um uh. so so <laughs> i'm trying to figure out like what words to say so the ways that i've um managed you know uh, my sexual energy in the uh-huh. world has yeah. been by um you know watching women on the internet basically right okay and and um it's been an interesting dynamic because i as you know i haven't i haven't had any money (laughs) for a long time so i haven't been able to provide like an actual energy value exchange with them uh, money exchange i haven't been able to give them but i found these you know sites where women are just doing whatever and you know you can tip them, but you don't have to, right? Being girls, yeah. <laughs> and and so this is, I've, over the like past several months, I've been really, really like 
honoring and appreciating these women on a much deeper level, you know, than I did for so many years as I looked at them in so many different ways. But now I am so like grateful for the service that they've provided to me in my world, the ways that they've allowed me to just keep going and not, you know, just be able to manage, you know, yeah. uh, that, that I've really developed, you know, this real heartfelt, you know, gratitude for specific women as well as, you know, all women that are, you know, doing anything like that. But it's also made me, you know, feel also extra protective, you know, of women knowing how much, you know, trafficking is going on and yes. what, and whether, you know, any of those right. women are not, you know, don't have a choice, you know, and stuff like that. Um, you know, I, it's, I also see, you know, day after day, as I see, you know, new person, new person, new, like, what a, what an avenue it is for, for many women, you know, that have what other people would, you know, consider being attractive as being like, you know, the, the, well, for a lot of those women, it would appear the best way that they can create, you know, resources or the fastest or whatever. It's, well, I know for a lot of women, it's like they're to, to go on the internet and do things, you know, is, like the best money that they can make in their world right now, right? Where and, and a lot of different places in the world and all of that. And so I also have these feelings that I'm grateful that these women have this opportunity to be empowered and make money and all of that in safe environments and their bedroom and all of that. But also, you know, the challenge that a lot of women have that that may be like the only you know, option that they have for making that kind of money in that in the world, right? Yeah. And 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 also the whole, you know, mental health, emotional health, you know, involved with all of that and with everything. So yeah. so what I've decided that I'm going to do is I'm going to create an uh, adult only business that's yeah. going that's going to start with it's first of all, it's going to be everything adult only you have to be 18 to have access to it. And that's, but it's going to be everything for people that are 18 plus. And it's going to start with support services, you know, the realm of empowerment for everybody that's showing up, right? To ensure for especially, you know, women that are sex workers, that they have all the tools to ensure that if they don't want to be doing that, if they don't want to be stripping online, that they have other things that they can do that can earn that know. money. And if they are making a conscious choice that this is what they want to do, that they have all the tools to support them in all realms, you know, and, and be supported in every way. And to use all of this as a generator of supporting women from cradle to grave, basically, to have support services for kids, for teenagers, for every for older people, for every everybody, and as a model, but you know, starting with women, you know, all being born out of this. So that business, that adult only business, all of the money, all of the money that that business. Uh, generates in revenue will go back into supporting, you know, women and supporting the world and building the business and supporting it and all of that. So it's a, it's a big vision that I just haven't been speaking into the world because I've been so busy with everything else. Of course. But, but it's been coming into my mind recently because I've been thinking about ways that I can monetize a lot of the aspects of the Uniting for Action system within the adult world in ways that can create a massive revenue streams really quickly. Yeah. So, so it's becoming, you know, more top of mind because I might do something, you know, sooner rather than later to have That's amazing. to have revenue streams supporting everything else that we're doing. You know, because, um, 
you know, there's a lot that AI and the Uniting for Action system can bring into the whole world of that right now. Yeah. So, oh my God. yeah. So I want to have a deeper, you know, go deeper with you at some point, because I want you and, you know, Eco Rainbow Goddesses and everything you're doing to be featured. And we with- want to support those women. Exactly. Too, because actually, this is very interesting that you're telling me this, because I was having a, a brainstorm with with one of our eco rainbow goddesses and we were talking about ways that we can teach uh the women sacred uh, sensuality and sacred sexuality and actually how to do it in a way that empowers them and because i feel very fortunate with the work that i do because i absolutely love what i do um for me and i'm in full power of it so there's um there there's a full sovereign element to what I'm doing and how I'm doing it that actually empowers me. So I feel like I I have a lot of wisdom for for a lot of the women that may be in the in the sex industry and with this trainings with all of these trainings that we're planning with the the, the Thai tantra yoga because it's bringing back the the sacred and and the spirituality element to it you know and and i read um i read a book that opened my eyes a lot and it's it's really interesting because uh you know they say that prostitution is the oldest uh profession that there is right and somehow it it it, it became something dark in the eyes of um of the people but actually to to prostrate yourself in front of the altar is to pray not only with your mouth, not only with your thoughts, but with your body, realizing that your body is a vehicle of God. Uh, and for me, when I work with my body, is I, I am operating at the highest level of uh, communication and embodiment that there is. Our, our bodies are wired with all of the most intricate and most advanced technology on the face of this planet. And there is so much um, goodness and so much uh, health that comes from using our bodies in a good way and, our, and the sexual energy and cycling the sexual energy in a very specific way that helps to rehydrate all of the endocrine glands and what I call the tree of life, which is a nervous system, right? So to rewire the nervous system. And and I know a lot of, uh, you know, in, in the evolution of my work, when I, when I first started, like I had an idea, but I didn't have a full, I, but I didn't have the full tools to actually direct the energy in the, in, in the most appropriate way. And so sometimes you just do what you got to do. And, and then it, 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 it's not as nourishing, right? For your receiver or for you, because as a woman, I mean, as a woman, we really do want to do the best, right? That, that, that's in the best interest for, for, for life, because that is a natural maternal um, attribute of a woman. We want the wellness of our children. We want the wellness of our family and of our men, right? Because at this point in my life, I'm seeing God in everything. I'm seeing God in my clients. I am seeing God in in my mentors. Um, I'm seeing God in my business partners. I am seeing God in in my family. Everything is God. There's no separation, right? And so I want to support my receivers to um, reach a God, that godly state, right? And so the more that I can support them with helping them to learn how to navigate their sexual energy, which is really the energy of, of creation, then, then the more I'm empowering them and the more I'm empowering myself too. So I would love to, to work with you in, in this it's, endeavor it's, and, and to help the women. It's perfect yeah. that you're saying that because as you're saying that, I'm realizing that we're, we're ready already because basically it's just having a conversation with one of them like we just were. Um, to that's the start of like an example of content creation that then becomes valuable and will virally expand um, through that community. 
And that's a community of influencers that are pretty influential. You know, yeah. you, you can you can get introduced to a lot of people very quickly that way. And it's, you know what? It's becoming very widely accepted now. And I'm really glad. I'm really glad because we're entering into an age where, you know, the suppression, there was so much suppression for so many years. And thank goodness, I think we've had enough of the suppression and we're opening up enough that we can have this conversation in public, right? Yeah. And not feel like, oh, we're like the sinners of the world, right? Because actually the reality is that, you know, Jesus stood for for love, right? And, and Jesus stood for authenticity and Jesus stood, stood for for the people. Right. And 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 Mary Magdalene was a priestess and she was uh, she she knew a lot of these mysteries schools, uh, you know, coming from 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 being a, a, a trained priestess of Isis. So she knew a lot of the, the tantric arts and um, and Jesus knew that Mary Magdalene was the real disciple. Right. Because she understood the, these higher truths and th all of the judgment and all of the suppression and all of the um all of, all of that bad energy was coming from the oppressors from the patriarchal rule because before that women held a very high status when we were you know if if men if the the mind is the domain of men the body is the domain of women and we have that right to have that mastered art and to get very get paid for it get paid for it very well and to succeed that is our birthright that is our talent we were made as women to have this art and this knowledge and this wisdom to to help heal to, we are natural healers to help heal the men and to have healthy children and families and communities. And um, and that is what I stand for. And that is why I want to educate the women also uh, on uh, priestess trainings and, and support them in doing it in a good way that honors themselves so that they don't have to do this work in a in an uncomfortable situation that diminishes their wealth or their um, sovereignty. That's awesome. That's so great. I, I appreciate that on so many levels. I'm so um, yeah. grateful that we're in alignment, you know, already on this. I mean, I knew that you would be, I just didn't realize that we could potentially do something relatively quickly with this because really it is just a matter of having you having a conversation that you're willing to record and that they're willing to record, you know, some, the first woman that you want to have this conversation with about right or about with and then we have some content that you know not only is gets to be out there but we get to share with some of the other women to create you know additional conversations and this is just an example of you know one track of thought and thoughts that can be hours of conversations you know yeah. sharing different ideas in this realm right and then you have you know, 50 other realms, 100 other realms that you have ideas that you can share in conversation, right? Yeah. And, and but we need like, so we can have 100 different conversations, which ones lead to revenue or lead to some other payoff that allow this to cycle to expand, right? Yeah. And, and so it is great that you're saying, you know, we'll have the conversations and we'll have, you know, I personally think it's a great model you know, kind of the like, you know, here's what you have for free and self-service. And then here's, you know, deeper level of service. Right. And so for you, you're in a, inviting some of these women to have this conversation. And then also you have, you know, the priestess training or whatever other things that right, you, can, yeah. you can offer if they want to go to a deeper level with you. Right. So it's right, great. It's right. great. It's great to even have, you know, product services revenue potential from that. So that becomes a potential new um, prospect market, right? Prospect. Exactly, that's a, that's the women's prospect market, right? Where the men are like the receivers of the service and then the, the, the training for the women is to actually be like the service providers. 
Right. But also I'm saying in terms of what we were just talking about, women in the sex, you know, that are sex workers, that they're a specific prospect group for you for like priestess training or certain other things that you offer. Right. And that's, again, that's going to be a different type of conversation that you're going to have with them than you would have with other people that aren't, you know, doing those things, you know? So that's great. That's great. I'm really glad that we talked about that and that that's an area because, yeah, we'll, I'll, I'll just process that. That's an area that can really explode. I want to, here's the thing, and this is why I'm thinking about it more and more is I want, in particular, some of the women that I'm really appreciating lately, I want to start creating an energy exchange with them where I'm sending them business, basically, right? Yeah. So so I'm going to create this content with them, with you, whatever. And, you know, I'm going to be referring clients to them. They're going to be making money. They're going to send me a commission. In the end, they're going to get a lot more extra business because they're working with. I have already ideas of new platforms to totally revolutionize the whole industry. So that's where I just sent you I on WhatsApp. I sent you a link. It's called Exotica Expo. It seems like it's a really big thing coming up and uh, coming up really soon here in Florida. Um, and it's all about this industry and em empowering the industry. So I don't know, this might be something you want you want to look into. There might be some good leads or information. Yeah, send, 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 yeah, send me the link on WhatsApp. I'll take a look, you know. Yeah, I think I sent it to you. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah. yeah. I mean, obviously, um, I have to like this is real. I'm really passionate about this because this is really important to me and I want to, you know, give back. Um, and there's so much work with Uniting for Action, as you know, with all the programming and everything. And I need to get that. It, it's all a balancing act. So we'll see how quickly it comes together. But I wouldn't I, I would like to have a conversation with you and one of those women and with me, because I'd like to I'd like to share my perspective from what I've seen of them and what they do and different women yeah. and just have the whole conversation as well as you sharing and all of that. I think that would be a really interesting, you know, jumping off point. But again, it's an example of all these different areas, but I want to make sure we're also focusing on where you have products and services that whatever we're whatever content we're creating leads to revenue or other benefits for you. Right. So that's what we'll keep focusing on as well. Exactly. Yes, yes, yes. And it's so, so interesting. I have here, um, he, we have, we had our brainstorm. We have healing, healing strippers <laughs> program. <laughs> uh, rituals have, for, for womb healing. I um, have some very, I have some very interesting um, domains that I've been holding for a while that are going to be really great at some point. Um, I'm, I'm going to actually pause the recording. I don't want to actually make it. Okay. There's so, there's so many different directions, you know, of stuff to be developed in the world. So that's why we got to get this system out and get the backing and get it where it needs to go so we can develop all these ideas, right? We can, yes, we can exactly. Create, we can create all the reality we, gotta, we want. We got to master this organization system. Yeah, so <laughs> that you and I can have all of the everything to create yeah. all of our realities. But this is yeah. a huge, as you can tell, this is a huge, huge leap today, you know, that this system is here and we're doing and now we're working with it. So I'm super excited. Um, I know we're a little bit past six, so I want to, yeah wrap up yeah, yeah. i'm super excited i'm very grateful for our journey as always it's amazing you know wow. this journey that i'm sharing with you and yeah. excited to just you know keep going deeper um figure out how yeah. we can blow you up the most that we can possibly blow you up that's what i think about oh, you know, all the time oh, like how, how can we out. really have I you just gotta get all the messages out of my head and into the world because i have so much that is like I get overwhelmed where I'm like, I don't even know like where to start, you know? So that's, that's why I'm so glad that I'm doing this with you because I feel like, okay, I could take a breath of fresh air and know that we're setting up a system um, for it 
to get organized and to get put out there. Yeah. Yeah. That's yeah. awesome. That's great. Yeah. I'm, I'm glad you're feeling that. Yeah. I'm feeling yeah. that. I'm ready to, to, um, yeah. Arrange like, it all, excited. put all the pieces together. Yeah. Yeah. And then, um, I don't know, this might be relevant for another time, but one of my, um, dear lovers, <laughs> one of my dear lovers, he's working on a foundation for actually saving the, the, the sex traffic victims. Perfect. So I think that's just going to somehow work, plug in. For sure. There's a yeah. connection for sure. There's a connection yeah. Yeah. there. He's like getting venture capitalists to uh, save the uh, children from the pedophile rings and uh, and the women. Yeah, and this is like his number one life mission. So I'm like, oh, this is the perfect partnership. Yeah, that is so great. And maybe this will come into full circle with what we're doing. Yeah. I think so. Sounds like yeah. sounds like divine threads coming Alignment. together. Yeah, I'm excited. Yeah, that's awesome. <laughs> that's so great. Awesome, Yay! Andy. We're doing it. <laughs> we are doing it. That's so great. Yeah. Okay, cool. Um, we covered a lot today, a lot of different things. That really awesome. I mean. I'm going to send you some of the videos from our, our Garden of Love event. It was so cute. Oh, my God. It was adorable. You're I was going to ask for more, to see more of, you know, what you created. I'm going to send it. I'm going to awesome. send it to you. And what Ray said is that we have to do more like a, uh, like a storyline. Like uh, we have the video that I'm going to send you now, which is like uh, Jorge did like a nice type of like a summary of what the video was. And I think it's like a two minute video. Um, But we need to create like a voice narr narration. So that'll be what one of the things I'll let you see it and then see what what ideas you have. Perfect. Um, but yeah, I think we gotta do the narration. Yeah. Awesome. Yay. I'm excited, Angie. So many levels. I'm excited about so much. It's so great. Yeah, I'm excited. I'm gonna send it to you here. Or should I maybe I'll send it to you on WhatsApp? I'll send it to you both places. Okay, great. Yeah. Yay. Awesome. Yay. Awesome. Yes. Yay, Jared. I'm so I'm so happy we're we're doing it. <laughs> Me too. Me too. We're doing it all. It's all perfect. It's all coming together perfectly. Yay. Yeah. <laughs> all right angie so, so great then, to be uh, with you as always yeah so then you'll let me know okay so then the payment plan for that you said it was the 300 dollars. 300 to do this strategic plan and then the end okay. of this we'll have you and i will in the midst of the process we'll get into how much time you have money you have different things about whatever it is to figure out what the plan should end up looking like in terms of, like I said, different levels of investment of time, money, whatever to create, you know, different results, right? We'll figure out, we'll figure out what the best ways are for you to use the system, given what you have on hand to work with, to create the results that you want. That's, that's what will come out of this. Okay, perfect. Thank awesome. you. Yay. Okay, you're welcome. Yay, great to be with you. <laughs> awesome. 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 Cool. Okay. Have a great day. We'll, we'll, we'll touch base soon. And um, thank you. You're welcome. Yeah. Awesome. See thank you soon. Thank you for everything you're doing. Thank okay. you. You too. Appreciate <laughs> you. All right. See you. Bye. 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 Bye.